Hello friends, it's Reza. Welcome to Channel Reza Blade. I'm going to forego my normal intro or really any intro because this is video two in a three-part series on the new art plates that uh, Maniology has released. Um, video one was M274. This is Van Gogh specific, uh, the only plate that gets a full artist. Uh, if you haven't seen that one, I do recommend you go back. Um, it's not that uh, necessary if you're not a fan of um, Van Gogh particularly, but I do love the manis that I did with those. Um, I left this out so you can kind of watch it if you're bored with whatever I'm saying and you just want to get to the next 30 seconds. Anyway, but it, you know, it's there. Hopefully you enjoy all the nail art I've done. Two manis and several other swatches for every single plate. So as to give you kind of a idea of what can be done with them. Because these plates, because they're reproductions of art, or uh, especially in the case of Vasily Kandinsky, this particular modern art plate, we've got a bunch of his stuff. And some of it is a real zoom in on the work. Um, which can be really big and fairly complicated. So, like, for example, all of these really are kind of zoom-ins, especially this bit. Uh, I've printed out the pictures for you to see, the original ones, or <laughs> photos of them, of course. I don't have three million dollars. Oh, God, that's a very conservative estimate. I don't have millions and millions of dollars of art just sitting here to, to show you on the video. But um, let's kind of uh, get the ball rolling. I'm sorry to keep john on for so long i think uh if the, if you're new to my channel uh please give some of my other videos a chance and it'll kind of tell you what i do i do ha kind of have my own spin i like to call myself a stamping community deep cut <laughs> um, i am fortunate enough to have a lot of subscribers i really respect like wow respect and i'm flattered if you choose to subscribe to my uh, video and join us, uh, I really would love to hear what you think about these video, these plates and what I've done with them. So please leave the comments below. They, they keep me going. Um, and do please subscribe, uh, especially click on the notification bell, bell so that you hear uh, when my next, uh, when my part three comes out, because of course you'll want to watch that. I also have a stream tonight. Uh, it, as long as I release this today, Sunday at 4.30. Um, I do this every other Sunday, but last Sunday was daylight savings time and I really screwed up that airing time. So I promised everybody that I would uh, stream again tonight on YouTube. So be on the lookout for that. That's Central Standard Time in the US. Um, I th we are, no, I think we're daylight savings time now. Never mind. I don't know. I can't do the, it, it's usually minus or plus, Minus six from GNT, GMT, but I don't know what it is right now because, because I don't. Um, anyway, so uh, what are we talking about now? I have the paper swatches as usual so that you, we can kind of talk about these images without looking at all these reflections. I've also got two manis, as I said, and, and swatches for every plate. Um, I don't have anything on this hand because I really just want to keep stuff on my photo hand. I'm going to be doing photos all day today. And, um, what else? Uh, okay, let's go. One of the, these things I wanted to tell you about the world of inspiration that's in these plates is that you can be a beginner and just do a certain thing or whatever with them, or you can go for a real project and recreate the actual artwork, which is what I've done a lot. I've also turned the um, the painting on its head sometimes, as for example, I did with Scream or with The Night Cafe by Van Gogh. Anyway, uh, so you do, you do whatever you wanna do. I wanna show you this Manny before I move on to talking about what the plate is and what paintings it's taking from. Um, but this is my condensed sky hand, get it? <laughs> anyway, whatever. This is my Kandinsky hand. Um, we have five images from Kandinsky. So on the modern art plate, he is the more um, I mean, the most exposed, but he was really, really, really vital to the modern art movement. Um, now we're well and truly all away from the traditional uh, 
a classic tradition um, academy uh, uh, academy system, I think is what they called it anyway, but how people used to learn art. And then once we start getting into expressionism and stuff, you know, that all of the academy stuff, they're like, why do we have to listen to you? We, we, we just, we want to make art. Art is, let's talk about our feelings. I was talking about that last week with, uh, or like yesterday with uh, Van Gogh. Anyway, so we really see a lot of perspective in these. Um, anyway, I'll talk about that in a minute. I wanted to show you my Kandinsky nails. And what I've done is I've used a paintbrush kind of, um, breaststroke kind of thing. Um, I'm not good at freehanding those. I don't know how people do that. It's such an amazing thing. But on one of my hit the bottle plates, I have kind of a couple of brush stroke images. So I used those and then a couple of hand brush strokes and I filled in spaces. I used about six different polishes for these. Um, and then in gray, I uh, stamped different areas of various Kandinsky paintings. So I do hope you like that one. And let's move on to maybe showing you the plate and what is inside it. Uh, I do repeat, uh, I would love to see the surrealists, especially Chagall. Chagall and Marit Magritte are my all-time favorite artists. Uh, they are not here. Um, let's see. So now that I've shown you the actual plate, I suppose it would be easier if I showed you, if I told you all of this while I showed you the how these stamp. You know, they're many ology plates. They stamp great. So these are Kandinsky images here. So um, I do think everybody should Google Der Blau Reiter or the Blue Writer. That's a very important Kandinsky, a seminal work. Um, also very important is composition four, I think. I think that was the cover of my modern art uh, art history book um, but anyway let's talk about specifics i do miss mi mix these up a bit we've got small worlds for you know what i'm going to put all of this info in the description box if you have already seen a video and looked in the description box and it's not there it means i haven't done it yet i am going to do it i think it's vital i didn't think about it sorry guys okay we've got transfers line which was from 1923 We've got um, Mit und Gegen, Movement 1, and then there's a series called Four Parts, which is where a few of these are taken from. If, if you click on Four Parts and you're just seeing the black, white, and gray one, they didn't take from the black, white, and gray one, but that's only the first of the four, four parts. So the original of this one is super cool. Let me show it to you. I am so excited about these. Okay, so. Uh oh, I don't have anything organized, it looks like. Let's talk about these. All right, so here, this that last one is from this, which is one of my favorites of his. If you look at these shapes, this is a magical, I have a very small surface today. So if you look really close here, then when you look here, you can see those images in line drawing version. And then they have simulated these big ribbons with lines. I don't mind that they took that liberty. I think it's the best way maybe to express that in stamping plate form. Anyway, so once again, you can go in and you can try to uh, re reproduce this beautiful work of art. Um, or you can just do what I did and maybe find a different situation in which you would just stamp the line of drawing it one, or do you do one recreation on, on one accent nail and then the rest kind of like I've done here. Uh Oh, so here I did, um, a Monet, a Claude Monet. Um, it's one of his Water Lily series. I think he did 250 of those people. Um, and then the other ones, I just did a simple tone-on-tone -tone French tip to go with it. I did use Maniology's most recent um, three-piece regular polish, 
with the flakies uh, for spring. I did use that. I'm really loving those. Uh, I did not like the first Maniology polish release, the one that wasn't neon. It had flakies. I didn't like those. Anyway, so we've got these are the various bits of what Vasily Kandinsky was doing. When you look at this part of the image, you can see, I'm trying to be suave about this, and this is hard to come up. You can see what I did with this nail. Ha ha ha. Um, I don't know why I just did that. I'm really tickled with um, reproducing all these paintings. So I might be in a great mood. Yes, I'm still wearing my the Scream socks. So if you're an art buff, you'll maybe think that's cute. So here's the one. They don't use any of this on the stamping plate. It's just the first of four parts. And then we have uh, Franz Mark. Um, he is definitely what we would call a cubist. You can see all those geometric shapes making up the image. It's a very, very, very simplified way of explaining what the cubists were all about. It was, a, it was actually an intellectual uh, interpretation. We've got our other Franz Mark. I would have preferred than the blue and red horses that he, that they chose the golden stag because that's one of his super famous ones but it's also much easier to draw to paint in as opposed to this which i did paint and it was a pain in the hoo-ha and now I am scoring my video, apparently. Anyway, so that's my recreation of that. For that background, I did a flaky iridescent blue polish and then hand, uh, uh, just sparingly here and there, hand applied that um, accent color in the dark, darker blue. And I did as well as I could with the reproduction. I'll show you side by side so that hopefully you can see it. I mean, maybe it's not perfect, but, but there it is. Whoops. All right. So let me put this back wherever it may go. And we're going to talk about more. I, I, this is Matisse. Uh, yeah. The blue nudes. Uh, I just put that here cause I love it. I also wanted to show you one of the ways in which people kind of parody or, um, what is the, not imitate, but they take, the, you know, they take uh, influence from in the style of, um, you know, A Starry Night or Van Gogh. I, I particularly like this one. Um, I wanted to show you a different, a few different interpretations of extra fun coloring of The Starry Night. Um, what else is per pertinent to something I've already talked about or I need to talk to you about now? Um, here are some fun... Here's the Cafe Night Terrace original coloring. And then here are some kind of an anti-Warhol display-esque of, you know, different color interpretations on the same theme. I really had something to tell you. Oh, okay. So this is on this plate. This one I didn't reproduce, but this is Fernand Leger. And he did, uh, there was a skating rink ballet. Okay in 23 21 and this is the drawing of the curtain so i'm gonna guess what that means is that this is how he painted the curtain for the production which is super neat i love how these people's you know their bodies are split and repeated um you see a lot of that in in cubism um i i don't know if this is strictly cubist maybe late cubist, but what I mean is I love, like, this could almost kind of be luggage and there's maybe a taxi happening here. People are moving. Um, definitely a lot of motion in the work. So I don't know, but I do, this is one I, I really do love. Okay. Oh, here's some more. Here's some more. Now we go. Oh, did I even show you those? All of them. These are Paul Clay. Uh, we're going to get to him. C-L-E-E. -E but now you have seen all of the stamping. So I put that down. All right, we have this by 
Diego Rivera, also known as uh, the man who married Frida Kahlo twice. This is actually one of my super favorite Cubist works. Um, I've loved this one forever. Um, the Young Man with the Fountain Pen, this one is called. Uh, that is from 1914. Love this one. And here's another thing from Paul Clay. This is uh, a comedian's handbill. I really like that they included this uh, this piece because it gives us two Paul Clay pieces and it gives us a Clay Manny. So for this Manny, what I did was I did some reverse stamping as far as filling in the face colors, but then I did some sponging, light sponging, everything. I'm, I kept the colors pretty sheer. This is more some more sponging. I painted it with a base color of a super, super light yellow, very pastel-y, and then I stamped, uh, I sponged the different colors over it in different places. And then you can see what I did with the stamping. So, and then I mattified that with my Mattify Me by Nevermind. That's where I get my mm, matte top coat. All right, let's see. Is there anything else from this plate? Pretty sure Les Demoiselles d'Avignon are on the next plate. No, I'm lying. Les Demoiselles are on the modern art plate. So it's right that I show you that. I do have some stuff to tell you about this particular famous, famous um, Picasso. So this is actually a painting that he prepared six months for, for like many, many, many sketches. Okay. But, um, he actually uh, did all of his staging and modeling and, and drawing and everything at a brothel in Barcelona on a street called Avignon. So um, hundreds of sketches. He uh, named it Le Bordel d'Avignon or the Bordello of Avignon, um, which is still of Barcelona and not actually Avignon, <laughs> which is in France. Anyway, so... Uh, he got really, really pissed off in 1917, no, 1916. Um, there was a, a critic, an art critic, who had organized an exhibition. His name was Andre Salman. And he renamed it. And he renamed it to the Girls of Avignon, or Les Demoiselles d'Avignon. So that is how it got that name. It was still considered shocking at the time. I've done some of the coloring that he did. I used a sheer uh, white to um, portray the uh, kind of cloth that it shows that she has around her hips in the photo, in the, the photo, in the painting. So if you look at my piece, and I think I want to show you the fox just because I wanted to show you the fox. I should, probably should have done these with sheer colors or used a different background. There's a lot of painting of mine that you're not seeing. So... Um, whatever. Uh, with this background, I did some rust uh, kind of outline, little brush strokes, but that's all I did. And then I used a gray with some copper flakes in it. So I can show you Avignon, the brothel. Um, this is actually in like two kind of Picasso styles that he did through his uh, through his thing, you can see how kind of different she is to, to the other ladies. Um, so, I don't know what I was going to tell you there. It was all off the top of my head. <laughs> it's such a dangerous thing. Anyway, it's very famous. It's very well known. Um, of course, Picasso. Everybody knows Picasso. I wish they'd put his little um, dachshund doodle in, in, one, in an art plate someday. Um, the art plate that I want to make with the maker, like collab, you bet the unicorn in ca uh, captivity tapestry and from France is on there. That's the kind of stuff I want to do. Here's that Paul Clay. Um, this is a different painting, um, of blue horses. I think this one's called blue horses. Uh, but this one is very famous from, you'll probably notice the style is who, uh, Frank Mark, Franz Mark, Fra Franz Mark. <laughs> Mark Frank, you know, that guy, that guy from the other day. All right, so I showed you these. I showed you these. I want you to get a better look at the fox because it's so cool. One of my favorites. 
I have shown you these. I have shown you these. I suppose that's as far as, oh, I just hit my light with my head. Anyway, I think that's all for, for this particular video. Have I, I identified everybody? We've got Vasily Kandinsky here. Boop. Uh, Paul Clay. We've got uh, Fernand Legere. We've got Franz Marc. We've got Paul Clay. We've got Picasso. We've got Diego Rivera. And that is me passing my art history pop quiz. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else I need to tell you? Um, I hope you like my inspo. Next part is part three. Do please watch it. Uh, I'm not going to give you my standard um, conclusion because other than uh, stay tuned t today, Sunday, the 20th, maybe? I don't actually know. Yes, it's the 20th um, at 4.30 Central Standard. Nope, nope. Daylight Savings Time, maybe? Anyway, Central Time, whatever Central Time is. Um, that's when I'll be doing that video. Have I missed showing you anything? I do not think so. I have shown you the art so make sure you have the notifications on have so much fun i'm gonna continue on take some pictures and then film my next video so i'll see you in the next one have a great day